could I have all the little ones come forward? Nobody else? Nobody young at heart? Really? What if I tell you I'm going to play with fire today? Any other takers? No? Wow, you all don't trust me, huh? You'll play with fire? I can always count on you, Greg. Okay, good morning. How are we doing today? We got the blood pumping? Yeah? I know my heart is pounding. I love that song, Days of Elijah. It is amazing. So I have a question. Do we know the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Yeah? A lot of our Bibles label this story something in the title of the fiery furnace or the burning furnace. And it's because King Nebuchadnezzar, he wasn't such a good king, was he? No. He had visions from God, but he just didn't know what they were or really truly what they meant. So one of the visions that he had was of a, six, of a statue. Do you know what King Nebuchadnezzar did? He built the statue. Do you know how big he made it? In Daniel 3, it tells us he made it 60 cubits high what? by 60 cubits wide. What? what? The, I don't know how big a cubit is, but I know it's huge. Now, here today, we have Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, okay? Yeah. We know because of the title of Daniel 3, they're going to get thrown into that fiery furnace that King Nebuchadnezzar built. Why did they get thrown into the furnace? Do you know? No. It's all because of that statue. Because the king built that statue... And every time music played, everybody was supposed to bow down and praise that statue. Guess who didn't do that? These three gentlemen right here. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They said, nope, no way. That statue is not my God. So guess what the king did? The king who's not such a good king? He said, I'll give you one more chance. Bow down to the statue the next time the music plays. And we're good. If you don't, you're going to get thrown into the furnace. Guess what happened? The music played. They didn't bow down. And that got the king really, really mad. So mad that he got that fire hotter than ever before. Yeah. Yes, he did. And you know what? With that fire hotter than ever before, he had Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego tied up and thrown in. But when God, or I'm sorry, not God, when the king saw, when the king saw the fire, he didn't just see Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He saw a fourth person in there. And guess what? We can't put fire inside. Okay, well, this is not scripted, so it's okay. Look at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You can touch them. You can hold them. You can smell them. They don't smell like fire. You know why? Because there was another person in the fire with them. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible, uh, Nebuchadnezzar, said it was an angel. It could have been. could have been God himself. Who knows? That might be, you know, Joe talks about watching movies or watching uh, replays of stories. This might be one that I want to watch because I want to know who was in the fire with Shad Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Oh. But you know the best part about this? Whoever was with them is with me and you every day. Yeah, because we, when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were confronted by the king, they said, no way. 
If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it. And that's Daniel 3.17. If we have faith like that, guess what? We're not going to get burned. We're going to be able to do exactly what these three men did. And that's through our faith, show how awesome our God is. So next time we get into that hot, fiery furnace... Let's remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and how faithful they were, and let's show that we can be just as faithful. All right? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for that fourth person or that fourth individual in that fire. Thank you for that individual or that force that held back the waters because we know every day that same force, that same power is in us. While we lose sight of it, help us to remember it as we go through each and every day and help these children gain that foundation early on so they never lose sight of it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, everybody. You can go head down.